is your salvation. Because the Bible says, after you die, judgment is coming. God's judgment is coming. After you close your eyes, judgment is coming. And that's the moment you remember that Jesus died for your sins, for sure. For us, we have a choice. For us, we can be redeemed. We can be redeemed because Jesus died for us. But the devils cannot be redeemed. Satan cannot be redeemed. He cannot be saved together with his angels. And he wants you to die and go to be with him in hell. My friends, let me tell you, if you have a chance, why not make use of that chance? You see, Satan is coming. We just saw the other day, people lining up to pick those world coins. Let me tell you, you see the way people are queuing up a very straight line? On judgment day, the lines will be more straight than that. And people will be crying and saying, God, please, God, please, I'm sorry for what I did. This is the moment. This is the moment you have to look at your life. You will make so many lines to go and pick this and do that and find a job and find good things, but you can never go to seek the kingdom of God. Why the Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and everything else will be added unto you. Jesus loves you. That's why he's still calling you to be saved. He doesn't care about religion. Religion will not send you anywhere. It will never save you. It will never give you eternal life. Because it is only by Jesus Christ that you can be able to be saved. Jesus loves you. He cares for you. He loves you more than you could ever imagine. And that's why true believers still tell people the truth. And that's why we are here. Not because we don't have anything to do, but because of the compelling of the Spirit of God to come and speak to you, to tell you that you can be saved. That is why we are here. And we want to encourage you to be saved. Because the Bible tells us salvation is very easy. It's all about believing. Believing in Jesus and what he did for you. But how can you believe that which you have not had? How can you believe in something that you have not known? That's why it's good to know the truth. And the truth sets you free. And my friends, I tell you, the truth is not something. The truth is a person. The truth is Jesus Christ. He said that I'm the way, the truth, and the life. And no one comes to the Father but by me. If you want to have a good life, you must know the truth. You must know Jesus. The Bible tells us, He that believes, He that believes from the heart will be saved. It's not believing from your mind, but believing from your heart. Because out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. And for you, you're there. You're still waiting to see. Before he gets saved, how, how is it going to be? I want to try some few things before it's, you know, before time is up. I will try this and try this. Let me tell you, so many things are coming upon this world. And if I count them for you, you'll not even imagine. The next few, the next few months you'll be seeing a lot of changes in the world. Because we are at that moment that the Bible prophesied. Soon and very soon we are going to have what they call 15 minute cities. You will not even be able to move from one corner to the other unless you have the mark. It is true. It is very true. Because we are in the end times all these things were written and they were prophesied. And now we are living in the times of the end. And unless you see these things, you are still lost and you're still blind and the reason you cannot see is because you lack the truth and the truth like i've told you is a person because you hate jesus you can never know the truth because the truth is jesus he said i'm the way the truth and the life and the moment you know the truth 
he opens up your mind. You can be able to design things. You can be able to see what is coming. So much is coming, my friends. You will not be able to even buy or sell without the mark of the beast. Very soon it's coming. And actually, it's here. And people have never seen it. People have never seen it coming. They were deceived. Look at what they were doing from the year 2020. They were deceived. Their eyes were closed. They could not be able to understand the truth because they never heard the king of truth. And now they are still out there thinking that there is something good which is going to come out from the world. The world has nothing to offer. It has nothing to offer. Only God can give you salvation. Everything else is a lie. Everything else is all fake. You are living in an illusion. In the matrix. You are still lost. But God loves you and he wants to save you from this. So that you can have a testimony of the goodness of God. Mungu na wapenda. Na nataka kuokoa. Na hivi leo nataka kukueleza. Kuwa kuokolewa ni kitu raisi sana. Lazima usikie ukweli. Usikie ukweli na huo ukweli utakuweka uru. Je, huu ukweli ni gani? Bibilia natuambia kuwa. John 3.16 Kwa maana Mungu aliupenda ulimwengu, alimtoa mwanae wa kipekee aje afe. Ili yoyote ambaye amwaminie asife bali awe na uzima wa milele. Je, yoyote ambaye aaminie nini? Biblia inatuambia yoyote ambaye aaminie habari njema, the good news, mtu yote ambaye ataamini hii habari njema. Na je utaniuliza habari njema ni nini? Habari njema inapatikana kwenye kitabu cha 1 Corinthians 15 1 through 4 na inaongelelea jinsi Yesu alikufa akazikwa na akafufuka kwa sababu ya dhambi zetu Yesu alikufa akazikwa na akafufuka kwa sababu ya dhambi zetu hiyo ndio habari njema lakini kabla uokoke lazima uelewe hii habari njema ni kwa nini ilibidi Yesu amwage damu yake kwa msalaba Alimwaga tu damu kwa sababu ilibidi hata Biblia inatuambia bila kumwagika kwa damu hakuna msamaha wa dhambi na yeye mwenyewe alimwaga damu yake kwenye msalaba ili upate msamaha wa dhambi na ni kitu gani cha maana hicho kiko kwenye damu ilibidi Yesu amwage damu yake kwani hangetuambia tu tufanye hivi na hivi ili tukombolewe Biblia inatuambia kwenye kitabu cha Leviticus 17 verse 11 The life of the flesh is in the blood yani uhai wa mwanadamu uko kwenye damu uhai wenye wa binadamu uko kwenye damu na ametupa huo uhai hiyo damu ili tuweze iweze ku atone for the atonement of our sins Wacha ni kuambie, damu ni kitu ya muhimu sana. Na Yesu alimwaga hiyo damu kwa sababu yako ilikuwa imechafuka na haingeweza kukukomboa. Na ndio yeye mwenyewe akaimwaga damu yake yote, akautoa uhai wake kwa sababu uhai uko kwenye damu. Akaimwaga damu yake yote ili wewe na mimi tukiipokea basi sisi tuwe na uzima wa milele. Na tutapokea vipi hii damu? Biblia inasema ni kwa imani tutapokea huu tutaipokea hii karama ya Mungu hii gift ya Mungu ni kwa imani Mungu asemi atikimbie Israeli endo katafute mali Yesu alimwaga damu yake hapana tunaipokea kwa imani tunapokea kwa imani na utapata vipi hii imani Watu wengi wanasema nataka sana kupenda Mungu, nataka sana kuokolewa, lakini sina imani. Nitapata vipi imani? Biblia inasema imani huja kwa kusikia na kusikia neno la Mungu. Jinsi unavyosikiza neno la Mungu, jinsi unavyosikiza mambo ya Mungu, imani inakuja. Leo hivi hapa umesikiza Umesikia nikikuhubiria umesikia habari njema ya Yesu Kristo 
kuna mtu mwingine amesema ah mimi sitaki hao mambo na kaenda zake lakini yeye hajasikia na ukishasikia na usikie na uyatie maanani yataweza kutoka kwa akili yako yaingie kwa moyo wako kitu ambacho umekubaliana nacho kinaingia kwa moyo wako na biblia inatuambia we mwenyewe ukishaamini ukishasikia haya mambo ma, ya Mungu na uamini basi utapata uzima wa milele biblia inatuambia hii na tutaweza kupotea tutakuwa na uzima wa milele Mungu anatupenda jamani anatupenda sana na ndivyo akajitolea ye mwenye muhanga ili sote tukimwamini tutakombolewa haidhuru we ni kahaba haidhuru we ni mtoza wa ushuru haidhuru we ni mlevi wewe ni muuaji wewe ni mshirikina haidhuru we umefanya kitu kipi kwa sababu Mungu alikuja kwa sababu ya hao watu hakuja kwa sababu ya wale mafarisayo ama wale wale wanajua mimi si mwenye dhambi kama unafikiri wewe si mwenye dhambi basi utaishi kwenye dhambi zako kama unasema mimi si mwenye dhambi basi wewe ndio mwenye dhambi utaishi kwenye dhambi zako Yesu alisema alisema kuwa Yohana mpadisaji alikuja akahubiri lakini mafarisayo hawakumwamini hawaku lakini makahaba na watu za ushuru waliamini na wakaokolewa wacha nikuambie kuna watu ambao utawapata mbinguni ushangae huyu naye anafanya nini mbinguni kwa sababu 